Hey, Brad. Hey, let's pick up the conversation from where we left off last time. Let's talk about get, getting rolling. What is it going to take to get businesses rolling again? So, uh, and good morning, uh, Daryl, uh, from, from my home office. And uh, if you hear some noise, uh, the neighbors across the street are having tree work done. I think it's uh, one of the minor uh, perils that we're uh, experiencing from uh, working at home. Uh, it's, uh, it's got some benefits. I, the refrigerator is close, which could also be considered a detriment. But uh, nonetheless, um, we're, uh, we're, we're here and uh, happy to be with you uh, this morning. Thanks uh, for taking a few minutes uh, to chat about one of my favorite topics, which uh, I think you know and uh, those who know me know is business. So uh, yeah. getting rolling. Oh, my goodness. We are uh, getting uh, mixed uh, signals uh, today in, in our state as to what that is going to look like and when that's going to look like. But uh, for uh, the businesses that are open and operating, um, I think you'll find the, our conversation today of, of a similar topic to those that, uh, that perhaps are, are a less uh, fortunate position and are, um, are actually not operating today and hopefully will be uh, able to uh, start generating some revenue uh, soon. So yeah, how, um, are you, how are you having people ahead. deal with uncertainty? So, uh, so Daryl, I think there's there's quite a bit of uncertainty in the marketplace. Uh, we, uh, as as business people, don't don't know what our government's going to do. We don't know what uh, this this virus is going to do. And my encouragement is to focus on what you do know and what you can do. And so, with a lot of uh, uncertainty uh, in the marketplace, uh, my my thought is is to find avenues that you can get traction and potentially um, that's in the same line or, or same uh, lane, if you will, that you're in currently and, and possibly uh, it, it's in a new one with some caveat of caution. Uh, it, it's plausible, possible to, um, to start accelerating in, in areas that you already, already work in. If you a widget, selling those widgets again, or selling more of those widgets. Pivoting to a, a new widget is possible, or a new line of service. Um, my caution is is that um, I don't think it's realistic uh, to believe that you're going to get immediately the same kind of velocity of sales that you were used to in whatever line of work you were in, or, or it takes some time to ramp up. So in measuring that, that kind of cost-benefit analysis, I think it's wonderful to develop new lines, and I think you should be doing that whether we're in some level of crises or times are more uh, normal, if you will. Right. But finding those, those areas that, that you can make sales, that people are, are buying, that fill a valuable need, I think is how you make your business grow in this. So, right. I mean, whatever that happens to be, uh, if you're a, a landscape contractor that's um, doing, you know, mostly lawn maintenance. Uh, you know, if you're able to branch into tree work, there's no reason to do not do that, right? Uh, mm -hmm. But I don't think you're going to open uh, your services to tree work and all of a sudden uh, have the large uh, a large tree company. It's going to take time to develop the reputation and et cetera, which will help over time diversify your uh, your revenue mix, which I think is good business generally. Right, right. What about innovation right now? Uh, I mean, it's cliche, but you, you really have to think out of the box. Uh, mm. There's a lot of things that we can't do, we're not allowed to do. And I'm, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm fairly stubborn. Uh, so I, <laughs> I don't really care about what you can't do. I want to find what you can do, and we're going to do it. Um, That's right. There, there is a way, and I don't take no for an answer. And I would highly recommend that uh, anyone listening uh, to this uh learn to uh, embrace no is not an acceptable answer. Right, right. EPP came out, uh, business owners are taking in those dollars. Uh, what are your thoughts there on, on how to use those proceeds and making sure they're evaluating their payroll properly? Uh, that, that is a good, uh, a good question. Uh, as of uh, today, and uh, you and I are having this discussion uh, on uh, the 29th of April, uh, the second round of, of funding uh, that, uh, Congress uh, enacted is is now being uh, uh, the uh, movement through uh, through the SBA and uh, the, the authorized lending institutions has slowed uh, a bit that they're they're in a sense throttling the number of applications. 
So I think it may be a week or two weeks before people get good visibility into whether they were able to get uh, access to the program or not. Mm -hmm. um, receiving those, I think, is a, real, is a real blessing for many businesses. And I think the application of those funds uh, must be done uh, judiciously. And what I mean by that is that it's, it's a loan, are forgivable components to the loan. So following the rules of, uh, which are still, I think, in a bit of flux, um, hard to play a game sometimes where you don't know the rules. I think we have another rule what the rules are. <laughs> Right. Uh, but um, the application of it to, to primarily in, to payroll within the first eight weeks after the receipt of funds is um, uh, stated to be uh, forgivable. And I mean, that's an essentially that's a really good thing. If you look at a business, one of the major components to cost of goods sold, typically not in all businesses, but typically uh, is labor, cost of labor. Mm -hmm. Um, whether that be salaried or hourly people is, is irrelevant. The cost of people is usually one of the highest uh, uh, cost components of cost of goods sold for a company. So the application right. of that over an eight-week period essentially gives that line item a, a potential zero cost for two months. Uh, that, mm -hmm. That's rather substantive. Right. Uh, in many businesses, labor is somewhere between 25 and, say, 40 or 50 percent of their cost of goods sold um, mm -hmm. or more. And uh, so that, that's, a, that's a good thing. The, the caution is, is that to the extent that you don't apply it to forgivable items, you have a loan. And right. that loan uh, is due and payable within two years. So mm -hmm. it's not long-term uh, capital. And so the, to uh, expenditures that you have a likelihood of recapturing Funds, additional revenue, et cetera, life of uh, whatever you're 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 using that gets the, those funds applied at a, at an even at an even rate, so you can recoup. But otherwise, if they're spent improperly, you end up with a bill uh, and and not the corresponding funds to, to to pay for it. So my recommendation is is spend it on payroll. Uh, that's the that's the most the most sure your cost. Uh, now, if your business isn't operating uh, today, that may be difficult. That may be mm -hmm. difficult. But be mindful that this is capital that must be returned or I guess potentially refinanced in a uh, period of time uh, not to exceed two years. So yeah. it's short. It's not a long-term capital. Um, so exactly. I think we have to be very nervous in that application of, of, of money. Uh, but it can it can be a lifeline for many businesses, and uh, you know use it. Yeah, use it. Yeah, use companies it being a purpose. Yeah, you know uh, another. Thing, we're gonna have to restart in many cases. Talk about team morale and and some ideas there around building rebuilding. I should say team morale. Uh, well, I think the first thing uh, is to make sure that your workers are comfortable. Uh, and feel safe uh, returning to work or having uh, perhaps even if in an, they were in an office environment and then went uh, to their dispersed to their homes back to the office environment that they feel safe uh, and and welcome uh, in in the office right it's a it's a change I think you know now we've been uh, home for six weeks or so uh, many people maybe don't want to even go back right to I, right. <laughs> uh, I, for one, uh, are, I'm excited to get back uh, when I can. So, uh, so that's that's the first thing. I think you know, working under condition that you don't feel is safe uh, is problematic. The uh, so it's incumbent upon the on the on the on the company on the enterprise to to let the workers know what what they're doing and what the protocols are and what's expected of them. So I think that's that's like a baseline, right? Safe work environment minimal minimal standard that's not uh going above and beyond that i think are uh, is good things and then you know what how do we do team building how do we create and and foster those relationships in whatever our new new normal looks like i think a lot of people will be excited to serve their customers to have those interactions again so i think uh morale uh is uh is going to be uh Actually, I, I think hi. I think people are going to be excited to get back to work. Right. Um, and you know, if we can continue to be innovative, if we can drive revenue, 
uh, if we can uh, maintain good margins, uh, if we can have a good go forward plan, uh, those are things that are exciting uh, for employees in good times and uh, also in times of challenge. And right. I think uh, for many industries, it's going to be challenged for a while. Some, uh, Daryl, I think we'll see snap back uh, rather rapidly. So we'll yeah. have to yeah. see what, what shakes out. But I think uh, the first plan is to make sure that your workers uh, feel safe, uh, safe and sound, uh, uh, come into work uh, and yeah. just talk to them. Uh, talking, talk to them. Uh, lots yeah. of conversation. I think more frequent, uh, perhaps, um, I don't know what the term I use. It's kind of like a high frequency, less intensity conversations. Gotcha. So that's gotcha. what I would encourage. Brad, always great advice. Uh, Brad Mishlove, CEO and founder of Catapult Groups. Thanks for being with us again today. Daryl, appreciate it. As always, good to see you. Glad uh, you and family are doing well and uh, looking forward to uh, seeing you uh, again in person yep. uh, as soon as we're, uh, as as soon as as we're alive. It's, uh, it's good and safe to do so. Thanks again uh, for, yes. for the, uh, the chat. Appreciate it. You, you betcha.